this is the wheelchair prophet. I want to call this fuck all of y'all part three. Mama said, knock your motherfucking ass out. Abusers, political abusers, abusers in the home, mamas. You see, you know, I don't know how to to share these experiences in hopes that my life and the things that I suffered as a human being would turn to help somebody. And that's what I would like to say to anybody that's listening to me that may have suffered from incest, verbal abuse, psychological abuse, marital abuse. You know what? It's a lot of men out there right now, my brothers. I fear y'all. You hear me? Because ever since Farrah Fawcett in the mid-70s was the star in the movie of a vicious husband who who cannibalized, who happened to be a white boy, by the way. Y'all don't hear me, though. So the father of the domestic court was a white boy and a white woman. But now the poster boy for the domestic court as the cannibalizer of his own families is a nigger. No, no, no. I said it right. Nigger. Not a man. You know what? I spent 10 days in the justice center and I had a doctor to cuss me out. I tell you, captains in white shirts and the COs was using the worst, most foulest language. Politicians, and yet they hide behind uh, 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 the charismatic covering uh, of due process when they are the violators. This is the whole concept behind. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> Listen, Lord have mercy. You know, it's so sad again, the wheelchair prophet has to laugh. Excuse me, I was getting the book out of my nose. Somebody got a, let me see the back of your shirt or something. You don't hear me though. That's how far! Our system and our community has become. Now, I was an abused child. My mama, God rest her soul, beat me. I used to run from my mama and run under the bed. And back when I was a kid, we had the metal beds with the slats and the springs. And I'd slide up under there and catch the spring like Spider-Man. And my mama said, Superman that hoe. Whoa, Superman that hoe. And my mama would dash hot water under the bed because she couldn't get me. So she tried to make me run out with splashes and dashes. You know, y'all even made songs about the sick stuff. Listen. It's no joke when your brother is touching you and you a man and you wake up and you push your brother off of you like I did. He's dead now. By the way, he died of AIDS. I'm good. I ain't got none. He didn't poke me. No homo, you niggas. Ain't no punks around here. And you know what? I know another secret that I like to put out on YouTube. The Wheelchair Prophet is taking the veil of secrecy off of the ugly stench and filth of the molesters and rapers hand. Rape is spelled R-A-P-E, isn't it? But I'll tell you what, every letter in there, if you take it and flip it, R-E-A-P. Reap, you niggas. Fuck all y'all! Reap! Now, you know what the sad part is? Some of our black males go to the penitentiary, and they go up in there and get fucked. I mean, butt fucked. And some of them be made to love it. Come home on the low, down low, brothers. 
And some of them get disability. I know. I volunteered at the Mental Health Association. And some of them guys that did 14 and 15 years in prison, they was on disability. They fucked their brains out. I'm talking raw to you. Parental advisory. Change the channel, send your kids home. And Bishop Eddie Long, I know this is too hard for your holy ears to hear, but it ain't too hard for your hard dick to handle. Now, is it? Oh, y'all don't like that real nasty truth. I'm bringing it stinking to the high heavens. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, I tell you what. Which one of you men out there right now? Any one of you bitches? Bishop Holloway? Bishop Fakes? I mean, Jakes? Paul the White? Which one of you men out there? I ain't mean Paula White. You ain't no man, even though you look like a woman. But I don't know what you is, Paula White. That's what it is. You indescribable and unimaginable. You look like you're trying to get married again. You was married to a homosexual. Your husband, Paul White. Hello, or Ronald White, whatever his name is. You know he was sweet. Talking about y'all still got a relationship. Man, the gardener been handling the business in the bedroom. Paula, tell everybody about your gardener and your pool man. <laughs> you hear me? Now, what were we talking about? I think I forgot. You know what? It's just time for us to just get real and kill all of the abusers. When I say kill them, listen, not murder them. Cease and desist legally. Tighten the laws. Protect our children. Be proactive. It's got to stop. My mom abused me. I was beat with knives, stitching cards. She used to whoop me so bad, y'all. I would kiss the stitching cord. Y'all, some of y'all, some of you 60s babies, y'all know. You 70s babies, y'all crack babies. Y'all crack babies and teas and blue babies. But I tell you what, you crack babies out the 80s, Lord Jesus. Late 70s and 80 babies, they come into the funerals. They get collateral damage on grandmama and them. We had some people down there in St. Louis, y'all, came to the funeral. Listen, listen. Mom would beat me with that stenching cord, and I would catch it just to catch some air. And then she would take a butcher knife and tap my knuckles until they would split right at the perfect tip until I let it go. And as I was hyperventilating, catching my hand, she swiped me again. I feel like I was hit by Shazam. <laughs> you don't hear me, though. Shazam! And then she would leave me with my brother, who was trusted to watch his little brother. And he said to me, he said, He's dead now, y'all. God rest his soul. I ain't burning his name. I love my brother. I love him with all of my heart. Let me get that out there for you now. And he was a man that stood on his. He was a homosexual, and he was out the closet. He wasn't flaming. He didn't have on no false eyelashes. He did not have on his clocks. He did not have on his apple bottom jeans. Over accentuating femininity, chewing bubble gum, saying, My pussy hurt when you ain't even got no pussy, nigga. <laughs> I swear y'all look. Hey, it was one of them on the bus. Now, I'm not hating on nobody. But now, listen. Hold up. See, we sit down. This is X. No, no, excuse me. I'm sorry. R rated. No, this X rated. Forget it. Fuck all you niggas. I was on the bus because, you know, the wheelchair profit. I have to ride the bus around the city. I got on the bus. It was a young man 
And because my brother was gay, I didn't disrespect him because I feel that people have a right to be who they are, even if they want to bust hell wide open, flaming. It's all right with me. I ain't mad at nobody for what they want to do. But I know one thing, he not going to be sitting up in heaven next to Jesus, flaming with some fake eyelashes on. I tell him that right now, so he can do what he want to, and I ain't got to argue with nobody. I tell you what, like Cat Williams say, I'll wait. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna hate on my boy, but y'all know that boy got some sweet in him. I don't care what you say. Catch you, my nigga. But cat, I don't know what's up, cracking holler. Holler at your partner. You can't be no pimp and no punk, baby. Now get at me, nigga. I'm from the west side. We stand like that. Nigga, you can't roll with our crew with your head out like that, nigga. Talking with your hand up. Nigga, talking about you know your hair to shit. See, this is what's wrong with you 80s babies. See, see, y'all some crack babies, man. Y'all need to go on with all that. 28 years old, that's an 80s baby. What? 28? 28? 28? He about 82. 1982. Crack baby. Fucking our kids in high school. Crack babies saying I don't give a fuck on my mama. Crack babies pulling straps on 11 and 12 years old. Crack babies. Y'all need to go on with that. Crack babies want to bully the whole block. Crack babies will never come out and walk in the street like a man like Mac Dillon. Crack babies shooting you in the back of your head with a ski mask on. Crack babies trying to get smart now, using a revolver, talking about you taking the shells with you. Crack babies. So... I suffered through my brother saying, let's play Superman. See, this how you, this how you molesters do. You dirty niggas, I'm pulling the cover off for y'all. Fuck you niggas tonight. And fuck you for eternity. And fuck is congruent and perfect with the word church. And in the dispensation of no mercy, which will be the ninth dispensation of Revelations 20 and 10, and Revelations 20 and verse 1 and 2, I like to call it 2012 and year 2000 and 2010, Satan getting his ass whooped. Read it. Quit Googling, Facebooking, walling. Open your Bible. Read. And behold, I saw an angel come down from God, having the key to the boundless pit and a great chain in his hand. Now you fit to get some nine. I got some nine millimeter for you quick babies. Opened the bottomless pit and he dived in. That's a bad shit your mouth. I'm talking about Revelations 20, 1 and 2. Could go in there perfect with 2012. You don't hear me though. You do not. And he laid hands on him, laid hold on him. You know, I love that movie, The Hawk. Hawk say, me know who to smash now. <laughs> you don't hear me, though. Hawk 
say, me know who to smash now. <sighs> who we gonna smash? Go over to 2010! And I saw Satan.